everyone. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've taken self-portraits and I have an urge to just create something. So today I thought we would venture outside to take self-portraits and I have the Nikon Z5 which we'll be using to take our photos with today. And yes, that is how you pronounce it in Australia. You guys heard it here first. So the Nikon Z5 has a full frame 24.3 megapixel sensor and it also has dual SD card slots as well. I have a couple of lenses that we're gonna be using today, but I'm gonna start off on the 50 millimeter F 1.8. So I have the camera pointing towards the sun so we get some soft backlit shots. As you guys know, that's the kind of lighting that I absolutely love for dreamy and whimsical looking portraits. And I'm gonna just do a couple of different things, some different angles and try some fun stuff and we'll see what we get. So I'm using the native Nikon app called Snapbridge to be able to control my camera with my phone, which makes taking self-portraits really easy. Once you have the app open and it's connected to the camera via Wi-Fi, you just press remote photography to be able to see what your camera sees in the app. <laughs> So I feel like we've seen how well the IAF and face detection works with the Bluetooth connectivity, but you guys know me, we're gonna have to do an IAF test and see how this performs. So the Z5 has a hybrid AF system with 90% coverage. It has face and eye detection and subject tracking as well. And I feel like it tracked my eyes really well, especially because I was moving around pretty fast and spinning around, but it kept it on my eye or on my face pretty much the entire time while doing these autofocus tests. Something that I also personally really like is that the autofocus square is yellow, which makes it really, really easy to see when you're out on location shooting. For this next shot, we're gonna get a little bit creative and I wanted to tape some of these flowers to the lens to create a kind of surrounding effect of the flowers to the portrait. So I wanna be sitting down in front of this lens. I've got the 35 millimeter F 1.8 here on the Z5. So I'm gonna just kind of arrange them on the lens until I'm happy and then just tape them into place. It's gonna look good when it's Wow, I love what this looks like. I feel like the flowers are just so colorful and I feel like it really adds a lot to the shot. Another thing that I really like is that this has a touch screen so you can really easily just swipe across to look at your photos and you can also pinch and zoom to check focus. For the next self-portrait, I wanna do a little bit of playing around with some of the settings that we have in the camera and I wanna create some portrait double exposures. So I'm gonna go into the menu and for the first exposure, which will be the silhouette portrait of myself, I wanna change it to monochrome so it's just a black and white picture. So I'm gonna take the camera off the tripod now and I'm gonna head back into the menu to our picture control and change the picture profile back to standard. And now we're gonna take our double exposure of the flowers and they will overlay together automatically in the camera. And this time I wanna get some foreground blur in my shot too. So I'm gonna to kind of move one of the flowers in the way. For this next shot, I've got a dress. It's like a big maxi dress. You can use like any piece of fabric for this kind of shot as well. And I wanna try and freeze movement still. So I'm gonna be shaking this dress around towards the lens, around the lens to create really big shapes and depth in the photos. I think this one is going to require a bit of patience since, you know, with the dress moving and like the wind, and stuff you can't really control where it's going. So I'm gonna take a whole bunch of photos to have a few to pick from and hopefully we'll get like that key moment of the dress in the shot uh, in one of my photos. Five, four, three, two, one.
So while we're waiting for the sun to set for the last shot that I want to take, I wanted to let you guys know about the competition that Nikon Australia just announced today. So Nikon is calling all us Aussies to show how we are staying creative while we've been spending more time than ever at home. So the way that I've been doing that is by taking self portraits. So this video is a little behind the scenes at how I'm creating some of those portraits that I'm going to be submitting into the competition. And hopefully this will give you guys some inspiration for some photos that you can create yourself to enter the competition too. So I've now switched over to the 50mm 1.8 and it is just about blue hour so we're going to be able to take our last shot. The last thing we're going to do is a little bit of a conceptual composite photo. So I brought my C-stand outdoors and I have this giant light bulb taped, <laughs> taped to a cable. It'll look good in the picture, I know it doesn't look good now. And I kind of want to have it hanging off the C-stand here. Oh, that's actually, that's like perfect framing. I don't know if I should have a hand up. Actually, I think a hand would be really nice. We're gonna have to take two different photos, so I will wanna make the light look like it's on. And now I'll turn this off and I'm gonna get a couple of shots with my hands in position as well. And then for the last shot, I need to point some lights at the light globe and take a couple of photos to make it look like it's on. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to know which ones were your favorite photos down in the comments below and which ideas you think you're going to recreate as well. I'd also love to know what you thought of the Nikon Z5 and also let me know if you're planning on entering the competition too. I think that's a lot of questions that I have for you guys, but thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you all next time. Bye.